So again, uh, good morning to everyone. And today we celebrate Ascension Sunday, okay? First, I would like to uh, make a confession to, to, to you, but I ask if you could keep it to ourselves, okay? Uh, last Sunday, I was tempted to break the law, okay? And uh, what do I mean by that? Last Sunday, it was the birthday of my niece, Katie. Uh, she lives in Mississauga, uh, which is near Toronto, with my sister and my brother-in-law and her siblings there. And Katie, it was her birthday, and I remember when I came here to Canada in 2008, she was just three years old. And, and, and last Sunday, it was her birthday. It was her 15th birthday. And I remember last Sunday, all I wanted to do is that after the Mass, all I wanted to do is drive, go to Mississauga, and surprise my, 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 my niece, Katie. Uh, because we were, supposed to, uh, we, we were supposed to do a Zoom meeting uh, at 4.30. So if I leave like 11 o'clock here uh, in Ottawa, I will be there around 4 o'clock. It's, it's, it's like a five-hour drive. Okay? So I'm going to pretend that you know, I'm uh, doing a Zoom meeting with, 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 my, with, with my family there and then ring the doorbell, and then surprise her. That was my plan. I was, you know, I, I miss my, 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 my niece and my family there, my sister, because I haven't seen them for, I think, four months or five months now because of this lockdown. But after talking to my sister and my brother-in-law, they said, you know, I, I think it's better for me to still obey, you know, the the stay-at-home rule by the, by, by, by the government and also avoid any non-essential travels. But there was that longing, you know, that the more that you love another person and you're separated from that person, it pains you. I, I, I'm sure you, you, you could relate, right? Right now, think of a loved one that you haven't seen for a while. Uh, thank God that we have the Zoom meetings or Facebook or whatever, you could see them. Imagine if, if this pandemic ha happens 20 years ago where there's no Facebook, where there's no Zoom, and you can't see your loved one. Can you imagine the pain that you are experiencing? For me, I, I was like willing to break the law, really. And people, are, are some, some of them are, are sometimes are, are uh, feeling that they're going to go insane because they couldn't see their loved one. Okay? Imagine those who are stranded abroad in another country and they couldn't go back because, you know, the, 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 the border has been closed or whatever. They couldn't come back. It's hard. It's painful. This Ascension Sunday, we could picture the pain that the disciples were going to experience. Okay? Jesus was about to leave and he was already giving her farewell speech to, the peop to, to his disciples, that he's going he's gonna to leave them. And can you just imagine the pain? These disciples have been with Jesus for, for three years, traveled with him, experienced his love, saw him perform miracles, preach the good news, and then Jesus is going to tell them, I'm about to leave. And I, I could just imagine, sometimes when, when I read scripture, I try to use my imagination I just imagine Jesus about to leave and all the disciples were clinging on their, on their arms, on, their le on, on, on Jesus' legs, and on the ways of Jesus. They're crying. They don't want to let him go because of his love, of, because of their love for him. It's, it pains them to be separated from Jesus. They don't know when will they see Jesus again. But also, can you imagine the pain that Jesus experienced as he's about to leave the disciples? Okay? I would like to quote uh, from this book, The Devotion to the Sacred Heart by Father John Crosette. I encourage you to, to, to read this book. Okay? It says here, Consider that the sacred heart of Jesus Christ was no sooner formed in the womb of the Blessed Virgin, then it was inflamed with an immense love for all men. But as it is, the property of love 
to wish to be always with those loved. A life of 33 years appeared to him too short to satisfy the ardent desire which he had to be always with us. In order to satisfy the greatest of all his desires, he must perform the greatest of all his miracles. Okay, I think he's pertaining to the Eucharist here. Okay? The sacred heart could not place any limits to the excess of, his, of its love. Be not afflicted, my apostles, said our loving Savior. If I am obliged to leave you to ascend into heaven, my heart desires more ardently to be with you than you desire to be with me. And as long as there will be men on this earth, I will be with them all days, even to the consummation of the world. Okay? So, I'll, I'll just continue. It's so, so beautiful. It was the ardent desire of being always with us which induced him to perform this continual miracle okay, of, the, of the Eucharist. Okay? This abridgment of all miracles by which his immense love put him in a state of being no longer able to separate, okay, no longer able to be separated from us. Jesus has ascended to his Father. Why does he return every day to this earth invisibly? If it is not because he cannot separate himself from men, and because his delights are to be with them. Could we have ever imagined that Jesus Christ would love us to this excess? It is from the highest pinnacle of his glory that he thinks of coming to lodge in our hearts, as if something were wanting to his happiness so long as he remained away from us. This desire must be very violent when it can continue to exist in heaven, where all desires are satisfied. Jesus Christ must indeed love men passionately, since without being held back by the immense glory which he enjoys since his ascension, he puts himself daily in a humble an obscure state on our altars in order to satisfy the excess of, his, of this tender love, thus fulfilling what was spoken by the prophets, my delights are to be with the children of men. You see, the disciples, they were, they, they were, they were so pained to see Jesus leave, but Jesus pains in his heart even more because he loves his disciples and all of us perfectly. We, we couldn't love God, we couldn't love Jesus perfectly, but Jesus could love us perfectly. That's why it pains him to leave us, to ascend to the Father. That's why he, he is performing this miracle of the Eucharist every day, so that we will always, he will always be with us. And the thing is, that's the desire of Jesus, to be with us. The question that I would like to ask you is, do you long to be with Jesus? Do you have that same desire to be with him? Okay, I'll, I'll give you an analogy. Let's say you live in Toronto, Canada, okay? And you have a, a, a very good friend from New Zealand, okay? And your friend from New Zealand uh, told you that, you know, he... he he, he misses you and he wants to spend time with you in Toronto. So he took time off, three weeks from his work, okay? And we know, you know, the, 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 the time of travel from New Zealand to here to Canada, I think it's like 24 hours. I don't know how long, but it's, it's kind of like that, right? And it's expensive to come. But he was willing to do that, you know, to, to take time off, to, 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 
take this time of travel to come and also to pay, you know, for the expense of coming here. And when he comes to Toronto, you know, you tell him, you know, I, I'm really busy this, this, this three weeks. You know, there's a lot of things that I have to do at work. I, I'll just give you the key to uh, my car and, you know, you, you could just take, take the trip, you know, and, and tour around uh, Toronto or other places. And then I'll just spend with you time with you on the weekend. And you could only give an hour with your friend. And in that one hour with your friend, as you were conversing, you kept on looking at your watch. You know, because, you know, you have other things that you have to do. How would your friend from New Zealand feel? I'm sure it will pain your, your friend from New Zealand. He came a long way to be with you. And yet, you're not willing to spend time, that quality time, with him. The right response to, to your friend coming to, to, to Toronto to visit with you is that, you know, you, you'll make your, 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 your place uh, the best place for him to stay. You'll ask him, what's your favorite food? Okay, I'll cook for you or I'll bring you to, to this fancy restaurant, uh, you know, wh wherein we could dine. You would ask him, where do you want to go? It is, it's, it's, it's your friend's first time to go to Toronto. You would ask him, where, where do you want to go in Canada? Do you want to go to Niagara Falls? Okay, or do you want to go to Quebec? Or do you want to go to uh, the most beautiful city in Canada, which is Ottawa? Sorry, I have, I have to say that. I'm biased because I live here in, in Ottawa. I, I, I love the city here. Okay, you, you would do that, right? You will welcome and, and your, your friend from New Zealand and make him feel at home. And you would spend quality time with him. And, and for me, when, when I was like thinking about that analogy, there's so many times we're in, that's how we respond to Jesus. You know, he wants to be with us, and yet we don't spend that quality time with him. We even just give him maybe an hour during the week on Sunday. And when we come at Mass on Sunday, we're, 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 not, we're not properly disposed to come. And, 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 and for me, I, 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 I'm guilty with this, really. You know, and, and uh, I, I'm truly sorry for that. You know, so how do, we, how, do we, how do we spend this quality time with Jesus? Jesus wants to spend time with us. How do we spend time with him? quality time with him. First is really take time to pray. I hope, you know, you're, you're taking time to pray at least 15 minutes a day, you know, and slowly build it up to one hour. And as you take time to pray, you, you read scripture. You meditate on scripture. Scripture is God's love letter to you. That's Jesus' love letter to you. Read it. You know, sometimes we doubt whether God's, God loves us or not by reading scripture Jesus is telling you how much he loves you. So pray and meditate, you know, that 15 minutes or to an hour every day. But your, your, your contact with him should not end there. It should be throughout the whole day. It's not just when you pray. It's whether you're working, whatever you're doing. You don't lose your contact with him. So how do we do that? How do we lose, how, how do we have this contact with Jesus throughout the day. The, sec the second thing that you could do, that, that you should do is by loving others. Okay? Loving others. Because loving others, other people, is Jesus. It's Jesus with a skin, with a skin. Okay? And, and Jesus said, you know, uh, remember in, in when Paul, when he was still Saul, you know, when he was... Uh, uh, walking the, to, towards the road to Damascus, uh, he encountered Jesus. And, and Saul was persecuting Christians, was killing the Christians, and Jesus said to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Okay? So Saul was persecuting Jesus through the, people, through the Christians. And Jesus also said to, to, to his disciples, whatever you do, to the least of your brothers, you do it unto me. So it's Jesus that we are serving, that we are loving. So 
when we are connected with others, by, by staying connected with others, by spending quality time with others, we're also spending quality time with Jesus. Whenever we help the poor, whenever we, we, we give our, our, our helping hand to those who are in need, it is Jesus that we are helping. So whenever we do that, we, have, we, we maintain that conscious contact with Jesus. The last thing that we, 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 we would do is we need to obey the will of God throughout the day. Obeying the will of God keeps your contact with Him. Okay? I'd like to read with you from this book, Insinu Yesu. It's a beautiful book. Uh, it's where Jesus revealed a private revelation to a Benedictine monk. Okay? And this is what he said. So Jesus speaking to this Benedictine monk. He said, This life of, of yours will pass quickly. In the end, you will take comfort in one thing only, in the yes that you will have said to my love for you, and in your adhesion to my will, as it will have unfolded minute by minute, hour by hour, and day by day in your life. Okay? Tell me that all that is outside of my will for you is so much rubbish. Ask me to cleanse your life of the accumulated rubbish of so many years. Ask me to make you clean of heart and poor in spirit. Seek nothing apart from what my heart desires you to have. Ask only for what my heart desires to give you. Therein lies your peace. Therein lies your joy. Therein lies salvation and glory. Only what I will endures. Only what I will give, only what I will gives you happiness. Seek then what I will and trust me to give you what you seek. Beautiful, beautiful message of Jesus, not just to this Benedictine monk, but to all of us. It is in obeying his will that he gives us joy, peace, salvation. Okay? The reason why he wants to be, to stay connected with us throughout the day and throughout our life is because he wants us to give that peace, that joy, that happiness, that freedom. And as we, as we do his will, you know, and of course we, 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 we struggle, you know, but as long as we're willing, you know, we, we, when we fail, we stand up again. We begin again. We, we should not get discouraged. You know, uh, and as we strive to do the will of God, that, and, and by that, what will happen is that He will be able to bring us to heaven. He will be able to give us salvation. Okay? So, imagine, imagine the pain that you're experiencing right now. The pain because you couldn't see your loved one, because of this social distancing, because of this stay-at-home uh, rule by the government, okay? Uh, and avoiding non-sexual travel, imagine the pain. Now, I would like you to imagine the pain of Jesus. Multiply it a hundred times because Jesus loves us perfectly, okay? Imagine that. Imagine the pain of Jesus whenever he wants to spend time with us and yet we don't want to spend time with him. So, you know, it's, it's a good way to examine our life how are we spending our time with Jesus? And maybe you could incorporate this, this tree that I've, I've, that I've shared with you. Pray, read scripture, love others by connecting with others and by caring uh, for others and by doing the will of God. And by, do, and by doing this tree, you will stay connected with Jesus. And, and when you do that, you know, you will be able to go to heaven. And when you go to heaven, the mutual longing for you, longing for Jesus, and Jesus longing for you will be satisfied. So this is my surprise to all of you uh, because St. Mary's YouTube channel reached 1,000 subscribers. And uh, so I'm going to sing 
and play the guitar. So I'm gonna be, so I hope I don't scare you, and I hope you don't start sub unsubscribing from my YouTube channel. And uh, <laughs> so I'll be singing this song, Alabaster Jar. Um, it's a beautiful song. Um, it's it's where uh, this woman, I think it's Mary Magdalene, who who, who broke this uh, vessel of perfume and put it on the feet of Jesus. Okay, and uh, and I like to sing this song before the Blessed Sacrament of Jesus. So, uh, if you know uh, this song, yeah, you could sing along with me. Okay. This alabaster jar. It's all I have to work. Break it at your feet, Lord. It's less than you deserve. Far more beautiful, more precious than the oil. Some of my desires, fullness of my joy. Like you spilled your blood, I spill my heart as an offering to my King. Here I am, take me as an offering. Here I am, giving every heartbeat for your glory. Take me. This time that I have left, it's all I have but word. Laid at your feet, Lord, it's less than you deserve. Though I've little strength, though my days are few, gave your life for me, will live my life for you. Like you spilled your blood, I spill my heart as an offering to my King, here I am, take me as an offering, here I am, giving every heartbeat for your glory, take me. Wordy, wordy, you are wordy, wordy is the Lord. Wordy, wordy, you are wordy, wordy is the Lord. Here I am, take me as an offering. Here I am. Every heart beat for your glory, take me. So I'll reserve the dancing when St. Mary's YouTube channel reached 100,000 subscribers. God bless you all. <laughs>